Did I not pen it? I thought I did. Because Mr. HX uploaded. I didn't watch it. I don't know why it shows it like that. CS2 versus Valorant. Chat, I think this is going to be the most biased comparison ever. Because she, I'm pretty sure, hates Valorant, no? Let's get Valorante into it. Valorante Child Game. Wait, no, I take it back. Valorante Child Game. Since Guys, if he's biased, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna be the one that's unbiased, okay? I'm gonna be here, the neutral guy. Here we go. Release of Counter Strike 2, most of the community were only giving negative feedback about the game. And then an interesting idea came to my mind. Why don't we take Valorant and CS2 and make a direct comparison? As a CS2 player with 15,000 hours, you might think that my opinion could be biased, but I promise to you that everything you will hear in this video will be straight facts and lots of hours of research. And I don't want to hear any NPCs cry, okay? CS2 is out of beta, it's an official released game, so I have the right to compare both released games in its current state. True. This video will be divided in sections where I will be comparing each important part of both games and then giving a point to whoever did the job better. And we're gonna start with tick rate. In CS2 we currently have a sub tick system while Valorant has 128 tick rate. Majority of CS2 community thinks that sub tick has ruined CS2. They try to get rid of 64 tick rate and make something better than 128. But they messed up a lot and now the tick rate in CS2 is super random. Sometimes you hit shots that were not supposed to go in and sometimes it goes goes the opposite way while in is sub tick even capable of being better than 128 tick or did they just say hey <laughs> because they they do cheap out on the servers or what because that's that's that can be the only argument right now right first of all before in csgo the argument in in csgo everybody was asking for uh for 128 tick and then somewhere they replied to 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 all of that feedback and they said yo no 128 tick why because it's 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 a lot taxing for your pcs right now we have cs2 potato pcs can't play the game like what's what's the reasoning now sauce i think they commented on it on reddit ages ago chat th that's true no the mindset was or like they answered yo no 128 tick because it is too taxing for pcs 100 i i remember seeing that valve replied to that yes 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 mm -mm. in valorant there is 128 tick rate on every server in every game mode even in your practice range official competitive matchmaking deathmatch unranked and all other wow. game modes have the same tick rate so there is always a good registration of your shots and you can't blame the tick rate on your internet so if you whiff it's your fault and your responsibility I've asked some high-ranked Valorant players and they said that 99% of the time your shots are going where they are supposed to go. But of course situations where shots are not registering also happen but mostly because of unstable internet connection or high ping. Valorant community never seems to complain about bad tick rate or poor shot registration. And what about CS2? Sub tick is... Do you think it may be also because they don't have anything to compare it to? Because in CSGO we have face it and we have normal and, and then once you play face it like then you see there's a difference you know but if you if you it's kind of like uh, um it's kind of like if you always stay in your bubble like if you never try something better you don't even know that it, that it could be better you know what i mean no, you don't think that's true? Okay. It's nowhere near to be perfect and even be. Simple said that it feels like 16 tick rate. So all this going beyond tick rate statement needs a lot of work done. I really hope and believe that CS2 will be able to work the main sub tick issues, but for now the point goes to Valorant. If you are tired of getting sh skins from CSGO cases, you should check out Skin Club. Number two, anti-cheat, and oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh. Having a poor anti-cheat have always been my number one claim to Valve. I've always said that if they want to make a good game, the number one thing that they have to work on has to be the AC. Otherwise, all the high tier ranks will be filled with hackers and HVH lobbies, and this is what people are experiencing in high ELO Premier games right now. He's one like I've already seen a plenty of videos like Road to 30,000 ELO rating with cheats in Premiere and you can watch those videos yourself, I'm not gonna promote those scumbags on my channel, but the point is that you can literally buy a $5 cheat and use it without getting banned in Premiere, VAC Live is just simply not there. Meanwhile, Riot has its own anti-cheat, which is actually a program on your PC, just like the Face It anti-cheat, but in Valorant it is much better. If you meet a cheater, he will be banned in the next game with 99% chance. And the thing is, there are not a lot of cheaters in general. 
The people who I asked claimed to meet only two or three cheaters in their recent 500 to 600 matches and they got instantly really? banned after getting few reports. So you can play match. Man, that sounds like a dream, bro. That sounds like a dream, bro. Oh man, oh man, oh man. And that's so important for the growth of a game as well, no? Because if you're new to CS or whatever, you pl you start playing a casual game, you start playing deathmatch. Rob's posted a clip, he was trying to train for his upcoming official game. He jumped into a casual, uh, sorry, into a deathmatch server. The normal Valve ones when you just pressed play and then on deathmatch. And he had a, he had a spin butter in that game. What the hell? Imagine your first game, you 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 install CS2, you you, you start, you click play and you, you just get spin booted on. Jesus. Give us an intrusive anti-cheat. Like Valorant has it. Why not? Why not? At the beginning when Valve uh, when, when when the Riot did it, there was a lot of backlash, no? I remember some ordinary gamer making a video. This game it it, it, it has root access to your PC. Okay. The game is now one of the biggest ones. We clearly see that nobody, at the end of the day, cares, right? Just do it. Why not? It's it's a blessing that Valorant did it because now we 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 have a proven, um, uh, like a proven concept that that it does work. That that at the end of the day, nobody cares. Making and not worry that someone is cheating in the enemy team. There is actually a really small amount of cheaters in Valorant as their AC works very good and it never bans someone who is not cheating. There is also a bad side about Riot Anti-Cheat since it has access to all your files in your computer, but I will be gladly giving access to my yeah. 78 terabytes of Fury porn if ah. Valve even came close to creating an anti-cheat like Same. that, if that actually helped clearing the community from cheaters. So point goes to Valorant. Oh man. Now let's talk community and especially toxicity. As one of the friendliest CS2 content creators, <laughs> But there's so many rage hikes, uh, uh, rage hike slips, bro. I think that it's great when the game is punishing people for toxicity, racism, and other offensive stuff. I sometimes talk a lot of trash. Now, actually, I talk a lot of trash to people. And in the past three to four years, I only remember getting banned two or three times, and the bans were really short. In CS, you have to be toxic for four or five games in a row to receive a ban. Valorant community, especially in higher ranks, is pretty friendly compared to CS. And you might ask why. The thing is, if a person is being toxic he will be banned from playing competitive matches first time for one day then three days then seven days then 11 days and etc until he gets a permanent ban dude it's crazy no chat i've never gotten banned in cs ever and i remember back in the day i was playing some league of legends and i was saying some stuff because a guy was being stupid on my team and i said like i don't know like uh, uh, uh shut the f up or something i said and i remember Getting uh, um, uh, uh, like a warning after that, like you you got reported in some of your recent games, and I swear to God, I got a, 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 a chat ban at one point. What the fuck? Even though I'm a very nice guy, you know that I'm a very nice guy. I play. I was the same. Maybe not fully. Maybe I was a little bit more toxic there, but you know, I, I wasn't super toxic. It's still. Almost instantly received a ban. And that is one of the reasons why Valor and it's probably the same in Valo. community is friendlier in general, and it's also the reason why people restrain themselves from talking trash and being toxic even if they want to, since they don't want to get banned. If they get banned, there are no alternatives of playing. If I get banned in Premiere, I'ma just go play Face It, ECA, or ES Portal. But in Valorant, Pro Riot as well. One thing that I think is cool, for example, there, there is like a, a clip of someone cheating. Right, and then even if it like shows their name in the kill feed, the, if if the video goes like viral, that guy will be banned. And I feel like CS, <laughs> you know, like people live streaming how to cheat and stuff, people people in deathmatch servers like advertising their cheats and shit. You know what I mean? I, Riot is 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 so good at at keeping all of that of all of that shot. And there are no options, so you- And hunting down people when stuff goes viral, or even, even when it's not going viral, when it's just like a video of someone showing how to cheat. I feel like those guys always get banned. They always hunt them down, bro. Think twice before calling someone's mother or the other reason is that in higher ranks you lose more elo than you win. For example, in top radiant lobby, the highest rank in Valorant, you will lose 20 to 25 elo and win only 10 to 15. That is why everyone is trying to win the game. The point goes to Valorant again. Number four, I mean, ranking system. 
Valve divided Premier Matchmaking, which is supposed to be more competitive, from regular matchmaking and now we have a rank for each map. And with Premier we understand the ELO system, but still a lot of people think that those rank up games are kinda unnecessary. But what is this new matchmaking system for each map? Why does everyone has to start from Silver or Gold Nova? Why does Ona Pixel has the same rank as Doc? Doc dreams to be half of the player on a Pixel is on Vertigo. That's right. That I was about to say. I thought he was gonna shift the tides here. Mm -hmm. Well, well said, Hikes. Well said. But the system still plays them in the same rank, and no one knows how it works. In Valorant, the ranking system is very simple and understandable. Each rank has 0 to 100 scale of ELO. When you get 100, you get a promotion to a higher rank. If you lose a game when you're at 0 points, you basically rank down. And as I said, everyone is tryharding in high elo because you lose more points than you win. Also starting from Immortal, you can't trio queue anymore, you can only queue as a duo or as 5 stack. Whoa! Wait, what? I didn't know that. How, why? Interesting, interesting. What I hate about CS right now is that if you're playing solo, dude, I play solo queue a lot and... and Every second game, it's a five stack on the enemy team. And I play with like four other solos or like, or like one duo, two solos. And you can't win. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Make it like solo duo Q, same as in League or whatever. Solo duo flex or whatever it's called. And then five stack against five stack. Why not? Everyone would have a lot more fun. If you queue as a 5 stack, you will only play against a 5 stack. Oh! And then when you win a game as a 5 stack, you get less elo than in solo queue. I so didn't know that they have that. You actually can't abuse the system by playing a lot of 5 stack games. Another point oh. goes to Valorant. Now we're gonna talk about movement. In CS2, there are counter strafes, crouch picks and much more. Not even close. Who is this point gonna go to? It's suck. And I, I, I would say that this one counts double. Because movement is the most important so far out of this list, no? Give us two points, come on. More interesting mechanics. Come on, boys, yeah. In Valorant, there are no counter saves at all, and crouch picks are not as OP Forget as about in it. CS2. The movement feels smoother and easier to control. That's why it's much easier for a beginner Valorant player to learn the game and the mechanics. So Valorant is a noob-friendly game when it comes to movement, but when you change from CS to Valorant, you experience some difficulties as it is hard for you to trick your muscle memory to stop counter-strafing, checking corners and picking like in CS. Also, there is kind of like a meme in Valorant community called a popping swing. Just take a quick look at it, but if you're a CS player, I promise you it's gonna be very painful for you to watch. Uh -huh. For more interesting and complicated game mechanics, the point obviously goes to CS. Number 6. The meta. Even though we have some new smoke mechanics, removed skyboxes and nading the smoke mechanic in CS2, the meta still remains kind of the same. On Mirage you still need to fight for mid control by smoking insta window, on Ancient you need to take Cave Heaven and mid as a CT, and on Inferno you have to fight for banana etc etc. The meta still stays the same, it's just that the nade lineups are getting a bit different. And hear me out, Valve have only been removing maps from the official map pool of CS. Train is gone, Dust 2 is gone, Cobblestone is gone, Cash is gone. What did we get? Anubis? I mean, it's a pretty good map and the community likes it, but it's just one map in so many years of esports scene. The meta remains the same and only slight adjustments are being... <sighs> True. Probably if you would take, let's say... A million games, right? A million official games of CS, if there would be a million, and of of of, of Valorant, and then you would compare them, like those those uh, how many are overlapping. There would be so much overlap, like so many same rounds on CS because it's always like same executes. And Valorant with all the different agents and stuff, it's probably a lot more, a lot more variance there. No, does it? Is it a good thing? I don't know. Could 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 say. Uh, arguments for both sides of being that. made. While in Valorant the meta is always changing, every single agent has its own unique abilities and skills which can be used in various situations. You can use smokes for defense and flashes for offense, or you can use smokes for offense combined with flashes. There are stuns, mollies, nades, healing, and this makes the game very unique and unpredictable. Riot always updates maps, agents and their abilities. And even though I hate the shitty abilities and characters flying in the air, reviving dead players and literal legal wall hack, I still think that Valve could make a better job by either adding some new game mechanics or at least reworking the removed maps or even adding some new ones. Really? Unfortunately, but I kind of like it as well because at the highest level, there, there, there will be like, like everybody knows what to expect and then there's counterplay. It's kind of like, like chess. A lot of the games will as well be the same, but at the highest level, it's, I don't know. No? What do you mean no? Of course. The point goes to Valorant. Yeah. Now, let's talk skins, baby. I have zero skins. 
hard to master. Skins knowledge, but even I know that probably more than half of CS community is in the game because of skins, trading, selling, collecting, buying and other skin related stuff. Valorant skins are dog shit, trash, garbage looking pixels that are worth nothing and never will be worth Bull anything. Crap! While in CS2 you have 5-7 pussy patterns, oh! enhancement knife, dick oh, I know that a lot of traders and buyers are making a living out of skins in oh. this game, so instantly point goes to CS, if you argue I will country. Now let's Whoa! talk community servers, and in Valorant there are none, zero. Not all the people who play CS2 play the game for competitive 5 vs 5, there are surf servers, hide and seek, money hop, KZ and even HVH which I don't really support but still, they exist. There is even a bunny hop world cup in CS, people are not even playing CS itself but that's what it makes it fun. It makes more people interested in the game and brings more audience and even though community servers and workshop maps are currently in the process of being added back into the game, it's just a matter of time. So no yeah, discussion, easy, the easy. point goes to CS. Number 9. Let's talk esports. In CS2 there are a lot of tournament hosts such as Blast, ESL, Faceit and others. They are strictly controlled by Valve. Valorant hosts its own tournaments with their own streams, activities and rules. They also allow streamers to watch the game and stream it on their own channel. So if you enjoy for example Tarek's casting, you can watch him instead of official casters. This makes watching games much more interesting and exciting. But Hayek's on a pixel is casting games all the time. Well I mean yes of course, you're allowed to co-stream CS tournaments after asking all those hosts a permission and True. receiving rights to co-stream. But the problem is that you need to have a pretty big name in the community to do that. So unless you're averaging around 500 on Twitch, preferably even more, you have zero chance of getting those rights, trust me, I have tried. Points to Valorant, their approach is better. Gosh, I mean, I think with Hikes it's more, more <laughs> bro, because there's so many crazy clips, but uh, yeah, if, if it's something like that, bro, I remember, is why question mark? Oh, okay, it's crazy that he gives it to Valorant because of just co-streams. <laughs> I didn't realize, I thought it was our, spot, our point. Watching eSports, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know. I've never really watched a Valorant tournament, so I can't really, uh, uh, like, judge, but bro, I, like, the eSports scene in CS is crazy. I f love it. But I remember as well, when we were uh, as well small and I tried to co-stream something, and then uh, they say no, bro, ah, bruder. It is so annoying. Like, your whole community asks, like, yo, are we watching this game? No, didn't get pumps. Oh, man. And if Valorant gives it to everyone, that's cool. That's cool. CS has to work on that, but... Um, or like the TOs, but yeah, bro, giving point to eSports, e uh, e he seems a little bit, uh, uh, you know, from personal experience, um, I don't know, annoyed or whatever. That should be our point, 100%. Sir. Next important detail about those games is individual and team statistics. To check your individual performance, mistakes and other important game stats in CS2, you need to use some sites that I'm not sponsored by. For those who enjoy your to their statistics, Valorant is partnered with Tracker.gg. This website ah. allows you to watch your full statistics on every single agent and every single map, and this is not an ad. You can learn new lineups, tactics and much more using only this site. They also have an app which works with Overwolf, it shows your teammates and your personal stats middle of the game, and it's not bannable at all, so you don't need any Faceit Enhancer or other programs or plugins in your browser. Points to Valorant. Is Number 11, the guns. Did someone say guns? Holy shit, I love America. In CS2 you have guns that are CT and T sided, like AK and M4 and Tech 9 and 5.7, while in Valorant you have the same guns I mean, We have Litify, in CS the community does it, does the product, you know? I do think it's cool though if, if, if imagine like CS, Valve, X, Litify or whatever, you know, like how Valorant, has, it would be cool if they like, I don't know, license some one of them or whatever available both sides offense and defense so there is no such thing as saving ak as a ct every gun is pretty balanced and can be countered by agents and their utility but opening in valorant is kind of more difficult especially flicking with operator you need to get used to it according to people i asked in my opinion, having sided weapons brings more interest and strategy into economy, so I'd say that I wanna give a point to CS, but I'm not going to. Also, as far as I understand, there are no consistent spray patterns in Valorant, so that's a huge L in my opinion. I'll leave this one to you. Number 12, the graphics and optimization. CS2 is currently poorly optimized oh. and developers seem to add lots of weekly updates about the performance of the game, but we're still nowhere near to be perfect. In Valorant the graphics are super simplified, and even on low and mid-end computers, the game seems to work with decent amount of FPS, which is good, but I know that there is a pretty popular opinion that Valorant graphics are cartoonish, childish piece of garbage, and some people don't even want to try the game, since they don't like the way the game looks. I agree with that, the game looks like shit. 
points to CS for graphics. I, I I would put this one a question mark. It's whatever you like more, you know. Uh, it's it's a full it's it's a fully different style. You can't this one you can't compare. I don't know. And points to Valorant for a I just said you are like crazy biased, bro. I thought I'm biased. <laughs> you say question mark because I say we need question mark on graphics. Bro, it's a fully different style. It depends, bro. There's busting games with like cartoon graphic bro, like it's it's a different it's a different game. This one you can't compare. The optimization. The final conclusion, Valorant is a noob-friendly, childish game with developers who listen and care a lot about the community. I understand why Valorant has its own player base and why this player base is so huge. Uh -huh. Counter-Strike 2 is a legendary game that recently has made a huge step by upgrading the- <laughs> This guy, third person, yeah. are you playing with Ona? <laughs> <laughs> Lul, you're my boy, bro. <sighs> Engine which involved a lot of bugs and hate. The release of CS2 was way too rushed in my opinion, but yeah. we have what we have. Valve never listens to the community and always does things the way they like it, which upsets a lot of people. Mm. On paper, Valorant seems to be a better game right now, but I believe in the bright future of Counter-Strike. And I would never touch this gay cartoon f as bitch as trash as What? The f What the flip? Anime piece of too far, I don't condone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you agree. I came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bro, he was full non biased, staying calm though. Oh man, oh man, what is going on? He let what it all out at the end. Uh, Jesus, I do not condone. Interesting video. Yeah, it's just, can you compare the two? I don't know, bro.